Video vlog check everyone. So I'm back here for a uh, quick uh, review or hands-on with the Fujifilm X-A7. Tama, may bagong camera si Fujifilm and I'm very excited to try it. So kagabi, na-try ko yung uh, Fujifilm X-A7 ni Ted Claudio. Uh, take note lang ha, uh, I'm trying the uh, engineering unit of the Fujifilm X-A7. It means that hindi pa ito yung official na camera. This is only a uh, engineering unit for review para matry and test yung uh, capability or features itong bagong mirrorless camera ng Fujifilm sa kanilang uh, X-Series na mirror uh, lens na camera. So si Fujifilm pinopromote itong uh, Fujifilm X-A7 as a uh, the go anywhere camera for content creators and vloggers. It means that yes, it's very easy to use, very compact, lightweight, uh, maganda yung kanyang video quality, pwede pang picture, so pang vlogger siya. Actually meron kaming debate eh, mga uh, professional camera users, mga videographers versus uh, mga vloggers. Ano ba klaseng camera ang kailangan natin gamitin if you're going to go into the path of uh, say a professional videographer or a say, professional vlogger. So siyempre mag good vloggers tayo, kailangan yung mas magaan, mas compact, mas maliit. Pero pag a professional videographers, kahit malaki yung camera, okay lang dahil we want the best quality. Especially we, kailangan maganda yung uh, lens na gagamitin mo. Kumbaga, yung mga accessories, yung mga gears, kailangan natin lahat. Kaya kami, ako, parang uh, nasa gitna ako eh. Vlogger tsaka sa videographer. So, I'm trying my best to use the entry-level cameras ng Fujifilm for professional use then. So, it's a challenge for me. But, hindi ko pa rin makakuha yung same quality ng mga professional videographers. Kasi, the camera that I'm using, si Fujifilm X-T100, ay walang 4K video. Meron siyang 4K sa X-T100, but doesn't uh, do talagang pang video talaga, pang ano lang siya pang screen cap lang siya, kung baga 4K na pang picture lang, di ba? But for the Fujifilm X-A7 meron siyang 4K up to 30 frames per second So let us discuss the features of this new Fujifilm X-A7 So ang weight niya is uh, 320 grams napakagaan the, the, the camera body is not metallic it's a little bit, bit of plastic so, kanyang uh, sensor, uh, 24.2 megapixel APS-C CMOS sensor. Parang, uh, it's a, parang siyang uh, sensor ng smartphone natin, but it's a much more bigger sensor. Yeah, diba? At gumagamit din siya dito ng XC 15 to 45 mm lens na may aperture na f3 to 5.3. Ang kinagandaan sa lens na ito ay may OIS or Optical Image Stabilization Yun yung pinaka nagugusto ko sa X-A7 Image Stabilization Dahil uh, sa camera ng Fujifilm X-T100 At mga lower version ng X-A series Walang image stabilization Ito, X-A7, meron Kaso nga lang wala siyang uh, EVF So wala kang way to yun, Sisilipin mo yung uh, feature no? You have to, uh, to view the image Doon sa kanyang uh, LCD display Meron din siyang mic microphone input Gumagamit din siya ng USB Type-C version 2 Meron din siyang micro HDMI Pop-up flash At meron siyang 2 shutter buttons Wow! I think this is the first mirrorless camera na may 2 shutter buttons Medyo komplikado lang siyang gamitin But uh, konting pag-trial uh, pag, uh, lang Makukuha nyo niya rin silbe Kasi yung 2 shutter buttons niya Yung isa pang stills, yung isa pang video At may mga modes, modes ka pang gagamitin doon Para alis ma-activate mo yung uh, performance ng uh, shutter buttons na yun. For example, uh, kung nahihirapan kang hawakan yung uh, isang button, you use the other button sa may ibad ng malayo para at least hindi ka mahihirapan mag-click ng button. So may mga bagong new feature din siya tulad ng uh, eye detection at uh, face, face detection din na uh, mayroong fast AF in low light. Na-mention ko natin din kanina na mayroon siyang 4K video na may 30 FPS. No crap. No crap yun. No crap. Wow. At meron siyang uh, 3.5 inches touchscreen LCD display na naka, napakalaki. Parang imagine mo you're using a smartphone. Doon kayo nakasingin at meron camera sa likod. Ang galing, di ba? So, yung uh, screen, it's what you see is what you get. Dahil sobrang laki niya, uh, hindi kayo mahirap mag-frame sa sarili nyo pag naka-front selfie kayo ng uh, 
camera. So, kitang-kita nyo yun, kahit sa madilay mo, kahit sa maliwana. Dahil sobrang laki na screen yan. Ang pinakabago rin sa Fujifilm X-A7 is, sinasabi nila nga, smart camera daw to. Dahil because, yung performance niya, meron siyang mga menu, tawag ilang menu, smart menu. Para siyang, uh, may mga controls na pang smartphone, na uh, you can do a uh, portrait enhancer, may exposure level, bokeh level, na... Ma, kumbaga matitinker nyo siya ang dahan-dahan then o, o, live yung uh, kumbaga, pag, pagbabago ng uh, brightness, exposure, portrait enhancer, bokeh do sa screen so it's what you see is what you get so napakaganda di ba hindi ka na mahihirapan other cameras wala pang ganun so natutuwa ako na si XC7 may ganito at meron siya tawag na countdown video na i can record 5 seconds video, 10 seconds video, 15 seconds video 30 seconds video. Short videos na pang social media post, di ba? Kasi may wifi itong ano eh, uh, eh wifi yung bluetooth itong uh, Fujifilm X-A7. Same na rin sa X-T100 na ginagamit ko. Now you can transfer video and photo files through your smartphone para you can edit then and uh, pang post sa so, 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 social media. Para hindi mo na kailangan mag-shoot ng uh, uh, 30 seconds or 15 seconds medyo mag-edit mag ka pa. No? Ngayon kung 10 seconds lang, makakapag-limit ka ng uh, video message mo or content na 10 seconds lang talaga. At meron siyang tawag na bright mode sa kanyang uh, SR uh, feature o SR mode kasi auto mode to sa Fujifilm camera na uh, ngayon nilagyan nila ng para HDR effect na kumbaga pag na-detect ng camera na medyo ma ma against the light ka or madid madilim mag-a-adjust siya ng konti sa HDR. Na-experience ko na to sa Fujifilm X-T30 na wow, grabe. Kahit madilim yung paligid ko, lumiliwanag bigla. So, that because of the HDR uh, feature of that camera. So, nag-test test niya rin din ako. And uh, here's a sample video na shoot, na shoot ko kagabi. Video vlog check everyone. I'm using the Fujifilm X-T7. Three, three lucky names. Ano, natin ko yung ko. Okay, the first lucky winner for Imbalance Pack goes to Mr. George. Congratulations! Launch our dinner buffet for two. Corporation, Cliff Cabigoy. Cliff Cabigoy. Vlog tayo, vlog, vlog, vlog test with the uh, Fujifilm X-A7 Ang aking uh, dibdib para ma-focus siya ng mabuti So I'm using my uh, original setting for Fujifilm uh, I'm not using the, uh, the, the the focusing sa eye tsaka sa face So I'm using just the uh, default Ito ko paano mag-focus using the X-T100 nga with the X-A7 Okay naman siya. Nice. Sa tayo, sa tayo. Kasi di ba, 60 FPS di kaya ng memory card na dala ko eh. 
So, engineering unit pala yung ginamit ko. So, para rin ako gumagamit ng uh, Fujifilm X-T100. The difference is that uh, I like the, uh, yung screen niya nasa gilid imbes na sa taas. Kasi ang X XA series kasi, ang screen niya nasa taas. Taas, ganun. So, ngayon, nasa gilid na. So, para rin ako gumagamit ng X-T100. So, okay siya. No? Natutawa ako. No? I really like the, uh, the bigger display. Kasi pag naka front selfies, kitang kita ko yung sarili ko, talagang uh, wow, frame na frame ako, tsaka naka-focus ng mabuti. And I like the, uh, nakakapagkapit na rin ako ng uh, microphone sa taas. Kasi pag mga XA series, walang ganun. At uh, yun, I really like this uh, XA7. But uh, I'm very interested to to do more. Kasi medyo engineering unit pa to, lalabas pa to sa October. With an SRP around uh, maybe 40,000 to 45,000 pesos. Kasi... I think uh, Fujifilm is selling it with a bundle na may kasama tripod, microphone, tsaka yung kit lens niya na 15 to 45 millimeter. So yun, I hope you enjoyed my video vlog for today. It's a very quick hands-on with the Fujifilm X-A7. So thank you guys for watching. Fujifilm, if you're listening, if you're watching this, I'm very interested to try it again. Uh, tapos naman yung aking uh, uh, influencer program ng Fujifilm for one year. Let's go to XA7 naman para mas maganda. So yun, thank you guys for watching again. And don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. And I'll see you at the next video vlog adventure. Bye!